There we go. <laughs> All right, yeah. so you got to have the basket full of masks yeah. on the kitchen basket counter, full of right? Masks. At home and when you're cooking yeah. dinner. So you, yeah. you wait to eat dinner at when the end. When you're cooking dinner, yeah. cleaning up after dinner, <laughs> and mm -hmm. grabbing all those, eating food off the kids' plate that yep. you don't want to eat. At yep. all times. There you go. Thanks, yep. Tina. Have a great. Did you hear that? The mask diet. Wear. You wear a double mask so you won't eat so much. I thank God that I have a greater and a better answer for the body of Christ and for anyone who wants to hear this. Eating is an addiction just like anything else. But how many of us know that our God has an answer to every problem. And if you first seek ye the kingdom, prayer is number one, because you're going to have to stop the addiction. And if you pray to God, God will show you. I believe that we should have a spiritual life first because he says, seek ye first the kingdom. And if you do it any other way than the way he says it, anything that is done without faith is sin for the believer. When you believe Jesus Christ, he'll help you. Weight Watchers, wearing the double mask, all of those things I've probably tried in my life. But the strongest solution to any problem in life is the Holy Spirit because he is our helper. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost the spirit of the living God enter into the believers. And he says, if you have not that spirit, you're none of his. Let me tell you how you get that spirit. You simply ask, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross to take away my sins. Come into my heart. Live in me. Take control of my life. In other words, you're saying, Jesus, I'm tired of taking the will. Take the will. I'll let you be my GPS. The Bible says we are fearfully and wonderfully made in Psalms 139. To know who you are in Christ will help you so much when you understand that you are king. You are a priest of the Most High God. And ladies, I know you know that you are queen. <laughs> And when you get the mentality of who you are, you'll start acting like who you are. That's the purpose of renewing our minds in the word of God. Renew our mind to your Bible. My suggestion, 2022, the first thing everyone needs to do is read your Bible and get a revelation of who God is and who you are. His plan for your life and his good pleasure for your life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says he has a good plan for you, a plan of good and not of evil. I'm telling everyone I see, the body of Christ has neglected the word of God. In Joshua 1, it says meditate on the word of God day and night. I think that's Joshua 8 and 9. Meditate on the word of God day and night. And it says you will have good success. When you meditate, though, the secret to meditation is so you can get a download, a revelation. Oh, my God. I hear the spirit of the Lord speaking. A revelation of the power and the truth and how to come out of those problems, those addictions, those sins. And he says, you get a revelation so you can learn how to do. Oh, come on now. Because even the devil believes and trembles. But when we believe as believers, it causes us to repent and to do what God has commissioned us to do. I can see a many spirits rising up big right now. God has been calling you to go out and witness. God's been calling you to start that ministry. God's been telling you to take those big steps. 
that you never thought you would do. And I'm here to tell you that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Let your body, your mind, and your spirit come in alignment with Jesus. And you'll have a body designed by Jesus. You'll have a spirit designed by Jesus. And you'll have a soul, which is your mind, your will, your emotions, designed by Jesus. Because man shall not live by bread alone. All those dyes, masking, whatever you come to with, not that alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. There's a word of God that's proceeding out of the mouth of the Lord for you today. And I know you got it. By the word of the Lord. The revelation of God speaking to you this morning, this afternoon, the night. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ye that have ears to hear, let them hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church, to the body of Christ. It's time for us to rise in the power of the Lord, in the word of the Lord, in the power of the Holy Spirit, where we live by the word of God. And then I know, I know, I know, we can then be victorious, never a victim, because Jesus' word have every problem solved god is a good god and he's a good father 2022 is the year of recovery and we're going to recover by the word of god in our spirit and we shall be like mighty trees planted by the rivers of the waters because the word worked when you worked the word God bless you for 2022. Recover all and be great so that the kingdom of God in you will come out and be great.